Hello and welcome to Six Minute English, the program where we bring you an interesting topic and six items of vocabulary. I'm Neil, and I'm Catherine. Now, if you want to fight climate change, what can you do? Well, you can use less electricity or stop driving. But scientists believe there's another behaviour which has an even bigger impact on the planet, and that is what you eat. We're talking about meat here. If people cut out meat and animal products from their diets, harmful emissions could be reduced by 70%. That's according to research from Oxford University. Now, emissions are the gases produced by an activity or living thing. So we could talk about factory emissions or farming emissions. And if you eat no meat or animal products, you're what we call vegan. More and more people around the world are going vegan. And today's question: Which of these celebrities is vegan? Is it A. Brad Pitt, B. Jennifer Lopez, or C. Miley Cyrus? Hmm. And I'm going to go for C. Miley Cyrus. Well, we'll find out at the end of the program. Now, before we go much further, why don't we find out a bit more about exactly what it means to be a vegan? Here's Tom Kuno from the Vegan Society in the UK. Veganism is a, is a way of living which excludes, as far as is possible and practicable, all forms of exploitation and cruelty to animals. So that's for food, clothing, or any other purpose. So we just don't want to use or abuse animals, and we feel like that you know there are plenty of alternatives in this day and age. It's never been easier to be vegan. Of course, he says that avoiding cruelty to animals is what it's all about, but that doesn't just mean food. If you're a true vegan, then clothing from animals is also out. No more leather shoes.、Mm. But he feels that it's easier than ever before to become vegan, and he uses a nice phrase: "In this day and age." Yes, it means these days or in the present time, and is often used to highlight a contrast with a previous time. So many people go vegan for ethical reasons. Now, ethical is a useful word. It means relating to moral beliefs. So, if you become vegan for ethical reasons, you do it because you think it's wrong to eat or use animal products. Others go vegan because of environmental considerations, as we looked at earlier. Rearing livestock—that means animals like cows and pigs—produces a lot of harmful methane gas. Now, let's just say the animals themselves produce a lot of it from their bodies. The other major reason to choose veganism. Veganism. Now, that's the noun for a vegan diet. Is because they believe it's healthier. In the research from Oxford University we mentioned earlier, scientists found that eight million deaths per year could be avoided if the world went vegan. Now that's human deaths. They claim that half of this figure would be because we no longer eat red meat, and the other half would be due to eating more healthy fruit and vegetables, as well as fewer people being overweight. And they say that this would have an economic impact too. They suggest that up to a thousand billion dollars a year would be saved due to reduced healthcare costs and increased productivity at work, because fewer people would get sick. So, if it's all so simple, why don't we all go vegan tomorrow? Well, meat eating is an important part of most cultures. Not everyone wants to change, and millions of people worldwide raise livestock for a living. So these jobs would disappear. Now, with up to a third of the planet estimated to be arid, which means dry and unable to support crops, people living in these regions rely on livestock. So, people, for example, like the Berbers in the Sahara region. Without animal farming, they'd be forced to abandon traditional nomadic lifestyles. That's where they move from place to place and settle in cities. And for many people, well, they just like eating meat and dairy. We asked you about well-known vegans. Which of these is vegan? Brad Pitt, Jennifer Lopez, or Miley Cyrus? And I said it was Miley Cyrus. Well, you're kind of half right, Catherine. In fact, both Brad Pitt and Miley Cyrus are vegan. Jennifer Lopez used to be, but has since started eating meat again, apparently. Now, why don't we wrap up by looking at today's vocabulary one more time? Well, we started with emissions, gases produced by something or an activity such as digestion. Livestock emissions, for example, are gases produced by animals. We can also add a word that describes the kind of emissions, like methane emissions or greenhouse gas emissions. 
Next up, we had in this day and age, which means these days. I still can't believe you don't have a smartphone in this day and age, Neil. Well, maybe I just object to smartphones for ethical reasons. Oh, so you've got moral objections to smartphones. Yeah, for me, it's important to understand the condition of the workers in the factory where the smartphone is made. That's fair enough then. But, Neil, you haven't become vegan yet for ethical reasons, have you? Ah, uh, you've got me there. I admire veganism, but I still like cheese too much to do it. Veganism is the noun. That's right. So, two more words to go. We have arid and livestock. Arid describes land that is too dry to support many crops or plants. But arid regions can sometimes support livestock. Livestock means farm animals. If you think of the stock as being the assets of a business, then animals are living or livestock. And that brings us to the end of today's programme. Join us on our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube pages for lots more. Let us know what you think of veganism. Bye for now. Bye. Emissions, gases produced by something. Livestock emissions, for example, are gases produced by animals. Emissions, gases produced by something. Livestock emissions, for example, are gases produced by animals. Emissions, gases produced by something. Livestock emissions, for example, are gases produced by animals. in this day and age means these days. I still can't believe you don't have a smartphone in this day and age, Neil. In this day and age means these days. I still can't believe you don't have a smartphone in this day and age, Neil. In this day and age means these days. I still can't believe you don't have a smartphone in this day and age, Neil. Ethical relating to moral beliefs. Well, maybe I just object to smartphones for ethical reasons. Ethical relating to moral beliefs. Well, maybe I just object to smartphones for ethical reasons. Ethical relating to moral beliefs. Well, maybe I just object to smartphones for ethical reasons. Ethical relating to moral beliefs. Well, maybe I just object to smartphones for ethical reasons. Veganism, the noun for a vegan diet. I admire veganism, but I still like cheese too much to do it. Veganism, the noun for a vegan diet. I admire veganism, but I still like cheese too much to do it. Veganism, the noun for a vegan diet. I admire veganism, but I still like cheese too much to do it. Veganism, the noun for a vegan diet. I admire veganism, but I still like cheese too much to do it. Arid, dry and unable to support crops. So, two more words to go. We have arid and livestock. Arid, dry and unable to support crops. So, two more words to go. We have arid and livestock. Arid, dry and unable to support crops. So, two more words to go. We have arid and livestock. Arid, dry and unable to support crops. So, two more words to go. We have arid and livestock. Livestock means farm animals, and millions of people worldwide raise livestock for a living. Livestock means farm animals, and millions of people worldwide raise livestock for a living. Livestock means farm animals, and millions of people worldwide raise livestock for a living. Livestock means farm animals, and millions of people worldwide raise livestock for a living.